Thank you. Have a good day. You too. What is up my thrifty friends? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. The sun is shining. Hopefully it's not too smoky where you live. And uh, yeah, just thinking about everyone lately with the fires and the smoke everywhere. Uh, today we're gonna go out sourcing. I'm at my favorite thrift store, Value Village. It's not actually my favorite, but it's like, like as a business, <laughs> but it's where I find the most stuff. So we're gonna see what we can find today. I'm switching my business model up. You guys know this, you've been following along. I'm no longer just looking for like very specific brands. I'm trying to pick up anything right now that will sell and uh, sales are slow. Now I am seeing sales come through. I'm seeing a lot of higher dollar value sales. I'm gonna record my what sold video. It'll be out on Friday. And I think you guys are gonna be surprised at what I have for data. So I'm, I'm excited to share that with you guys. Even though sales are slow right now, I don't think I'm gonna like slow down per se in sourcing. I think I'm gonna start to transition from the summer pieces soon where I've been sourcing a lot of summer pieces and definitely gonna start narrowing in on those fall items. But for right now, I'm just really looking for anything that will sell. Also, thank you to everyone that voted in the contest. If you didn't catch last week's video, I'm doing a giveaway every video where I go sourcing. You guys get to choose between two items. And when I reach five items for the giveaway, I'm going to do a random draw and give away a box of things that I have found. And you guys get to have a say in it. In the voting, it's so close. Like I was expecting to be like an obvious vote one way or the other, but it is so close. So I actually have to sit down tonight and count them up. And then, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know which one is going in the box. And then today at the end of the video, we will go over which two items you get to choose from today to put into the box as well. So that's exciting. I got my coffee. I ate my breakfast sandwich. The store opens in six minutes. So I'm going to get my poop in a group and let's see what we can find. All right, I got some stuff to donate, but I'm gonna split it up so that if I go to both stores, I can get a coupon from each store. So we'll just take these ones for now and uh, try and get our 20% off coupon. Because you guys love the dresses, I'm gonna show you another vintage one that I found. Uh, it's hand-stitched maxi length long sleeve definitely giving me like a 60s or 70s vibe and I'm gonna grab this one okay guys I am gonna grab this I'm no longer leaving dresses and it has a zipper down the back so gorgeous okay my favorite section what is this Mexico got an Arizona one. My Little Pony. Oh my gosh, 2014, not vintage. Ooh, I love the print of this, but it's like the cheapest material, literally the cheapest material. That's so nice. Up my alley, for sure. What are they asking? Oh my gosh, $18. Nope. <laughs> I always stroll through this section hoping to find a La Crescette. Crescetta? I don't even know how to say it. Um, for myself, because I don't own one. But, no luck. I have never found the brand. Even, like, super high priced. I've never found the brand here. Although I know other people have. It is my last section to go to, so maybe people find it and they buy it before I even get there. I'm not sure. There it goes. I do not recognize that brand. And it doesn't look like any spectacular quality to search up. Shorts have been pretty dry for me lately. 
I don't know if like people went through their wardrobes and donated them early, but I haven't been finding very much. I haven't found a Harley shirt in a long time too. There's like a lot of things actually that I'm, now that I'm thinking, I haven't been finding very much of. <laughs> oh, vintage Ikea. Oh man, this is 90s. I don't know if I should grab it. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, I think if it would have been a sweater or a long sleeve crew, I would grab it, but I'll pass on that one. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh, look at all the race shirts here. <laughs> Boy. All right, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna go over the things that I'm leaving. Um, more just because I do find lots of stuff. It's just sometimes those price points. First up is a Lulu top. They're asking $23 for it. It's an older style. I can tell by the scalloped edges. So for that reason, we're gonna leave this one. I also have this Lulu one that is older I'm gonna say as well and $23 just too much money marmot I think this is possibly a boys sizing it doesn't say on the tag but it's definitely like smaller for a medium and they're asking 10 bucks so I'll leave that one we got a gym shark which I don't really like this brand. I feel like the resale value isn't there anymore as what it was a couple years ago and usually the stores have them marked up like at ten dollars. I also found this linen Talbots. I would grab this in a heartbeat except the sleeves are yellowed and it's hard to see on here and I've like hummed and hawed about it but there's definitely some discoloration in it from wear and uh, I don't really want to treat this or try and get it out, so I'm just going to leave this one. Oh, we got a Jackson Row, so this is a Canadian brand. Uh, it's like, I don't know if it's a boutique brand or what, but it is expensive if you buy it brand new, but I find resale, unless it's a very unique piece, the resale value really isn't there. So they're asking $14.50. Uh, when I look up solds, it looks like $35 to $45 and probably more on the lower side, so that doesn't really work for me. This is a pair of men's XL Lou lemon shorts. They're asking $28 for them. These are at least eight years old. The style tag inside the pocket is an old style, um, so yeah, for all those reasons, the answer is no. And then also this men's one for $25. Even with a 20% off coupon, I'm gonna pay 20 bucks for this. I think at best it might sell for 50. I don't know, take off their fees. I don't know guys. I just don't think these tops are worth it anymore, especially if I'm having to pay over 16 or $17. So for a lower cost, I'll grab them. But for this, I'm gonna leave it. It's a beautiful one. If it was Jeff's size, I think I would grab it for him, but not for resale. All right, that was okay. Um, oh man, I was definitely hoping for some more stuff, but I got a cool, a couple cool pieces and things that I don't normally grab. So we're just gonna hop in the car and go over this. All right, uh, yeah, I think, I don't know. I was hoping to find more stuff. Uh, I know that there were a lot of resellers in there, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Not difficult, but just more competitive finding things. So there definitely were things to be found today. These were the ones that I found. Uh, first up, which I'm just shocked about, size 10. Lululemon, good condition, no stains. There is a little bit of fading, but I'm gonna add this to my black wash that I'm gonna do with that pear wall. And this is mostly cotton material, so I think it should take to it very well. I'm also gonna do a quick search 
on the stock photo just to see because sometimes I find their black cotton items are actually meant to have a little bit of a wear look to them. So we'll see. Uh, next up, I grabbed two rattan bags and I don't typically grab purses. They're not my favorite thing to list, but I'm going to prioritize listing these quickly. They were priced at $3.80 each, uh, plus I had the 20% off coupon, so not too bad. I probably paid about like $3 and a quarter or something like that. I'm going to list these and see how they do. This is a trending style right now. It goes with Coastal Cowgirl, Coastal Grandma, Beach, Vacation, like everything. Rattan is just a, a trending style. I have been looking for these in the last few trips, but haven't been able to find them. So the fact that I found two in, uh, in one day, I'm actually shocked because yeah, I don't find those often. And then the next item are these Lululemon men's shorts. They're almost like a check um, print. I can't think of what the word is. I actually don't know how to describe this material, but they, they are an older pair. The Lulu logo is bigger. Um, the size tag is right here. There's no letters and numbers, but they had them marked at $9, I think. Well, with the coupon, I probably paid closer to eight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I could probably sell these for like 35 bucks. If I'm being honest, a lot of guys don't actually care. And I think these would make really good golf shorts. They're also a good size being a 36. So yeah, I picked those up. And then of course, of course, I grabbed this vintage dress. I know you guys are probably like, buy the dang dress because I think that's what happened last time with that pink dress that I didn't get regretted it's gone it's not there but this one I grabbed um I just love the colors of it and uh yeah there's like hand stitching on the inside someone definitely made this and it's it's a gorgeous a-line dress or maybe it would be a fit and flare. It's like fitted to under the bust and then it kind of just like flares out. Yeah, I don't know what style tags or like keywords these is. This obviously vintage floral, I think it's like 70s, probably 70s. Um, if you have any idea what to use with this or experience selling vintage dresses like this, please let me know in the comments um, so that I can add those keywords into my listing. Okay, it is 10 o'clock. I have a hair appointment at noon, so we are going to source as much as we can before then. I'm thinking we're going to go stop by a couple buy sell trades, and then if I have time, we'll go to the north side value village. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and make quick work today. I want to get as much sourcing as I can to try and get uh, hopefully 30 pieces to list. I do have a big pile at home that I need to get through but I need 40 to 50 items a week to sustain my, my listings right now. And I'm definitely trying different things too. I'm not just picking up my regular brands. I'm stepping out of my zone. Let's see what's selling. Holy Dinah, it is getting warm in here. Okay, so I used to sell a lot of vintage pieces, vintage and quirky pieces. And oh, you can see like the sweat forming on my face. It's getting so hot in my car. Um, but I found that I started sitting on them longer. And the reason why I had transitioned to like the Aritzia Lululemon kind of business model, I'll call it, call it is because the sell-through rate was so quick. I could flip those pieces so quick where I found my vintage and unique pieces, I sat on a little bit longer. The value can also be really hit and miss because you're looking for the right buyer for them. So that was why I originally started to transition out of them. Uh, I want to start experimenting again with some of these pieces because I do know there's value. There are definitely people looking for these types of pieces. You cannot go and just buy this dress in the store right now. So there's going to be someone looking for it. I think the, the hard part is trying to predict what people are actually looking for and want to buy. So that's going to be the learning curve I have right now is trying to figure that out. But yeah, otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. I am feeling pretty good about today. Uh, yeah, I'm like ready to source, like let's do this. All right, let's head to the next store.
All right, let's try the trick of don't bring a bag superstition and I fill my arms full. That's what I'm going to try. <laughs> Cause the first off wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Oh my gosh, there's so many bathing suits here. These are pretty cool um, Airwalk black sandals. If they were my size, I'd grab them, but I think for $55, I'm not gonna be able to make much profit on those, so I'll leave those ones here. Let's go over the pile of things that I'm leaving. The music is just too darn loud in this store for me to talk over it. These are a pair of Wilford shorts. They were an older style and there was almost like a flaw in the material. So I was going to leave those ones there. Uh, these IMG pants, I think that's how you say it. I have never found this brand. I was so excited. But when I looked up solds, there was quite a few pairs of this similar sweat pant for sale. And the last sold was quite a few months ago. So I just didn't think the sell-through rate was there for them. Uh, and for the price, yeah, I just couldn't justify it. This next is a Patagonia top. It was a little bit longer, almost like a tunic length. They wanted $18 dollars and that's just too much for that top for resale um for second hand that's i'm sure that's a great deal these next two sweaters were reigning champ these are good value sweaters here in canada except both were a size medium in men's and they almost were like shrunk like i'm 99 percent sure they were shrunk and the fit was a little bit funny so for that reason i just don't want to take the chances selling them and then the last item that I left was this North Face men's size large kind of sweater. There was some shrinkage and you could see the puckering in the zipper. So for that reason, I just didn't think it was worth $20. If it would have been in perfect condition, I think I would have grabbed them. But with that, I'm going to leave it. It's okay. Okay, that was a lot better. I'm excited, guys, to go over what I found. Some really good prices. I found some serious scores. Okay, I had to pull somewhere under the shade because it was way too hot in my car. <laughs> so I'm parked under a tree now and I wanna show you guys what I found. It's been a good day. Oh, it's shaping up. I still have a couple more stops to do, but I'm gonna go get my hair done first. So first off, I got a pair of Teva sandals. Oh, my granola heart. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm gonna turn that air on a little bit warmer, but down on my feet. I don't know if you've ever owned a Jetta, but Jetta's fans make noise and it's like a factory flaw and it's annoying. So I can't crank the AC in here because you'll just hear my fan. It's actually annoying. <laughs> okay, first, Teva sandals, my size, they fit. Tried them on barefoot <laughs> just to gross you guys out. Um, love them. Next, I found, oh my gosh, this Wilfred size small uh, jumper, wide leg, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get Lena to try this on because I think this would be good for work for her. In her serving job, she has to wear um, all black and it's super hot outside right now. Also grabbed this, let me just show you guys, Babaton size medium. Uh, I think it's like a contour ribbed crop top. Excellent condition. 
oh my gosh there's a little bit of dust on it but yeah another thing I'm gonna see if she wants to steal for work just because I know she needs some work clothes I mean she always needs work clothes next is for myself it's a Babaton um, high neck sleeveless bodysuit in gray I think this would look so cute with a pair of jeans I could not wear this on a hot day because it's cotton for sure for sure it's gonna show my sweat everywhere but I think on a cooler evening out with a pair of jeans and sandals this would be really nice for going out for supper or just heading out going for a walk um, I'm excited about that one this I'm also very excited about okay so heads up this store is actually where I pick up a lot of my Aritzia pieces Lululemon is like crazy price but a lot of my Aritzia pieces come from this store so I did look for other brands but this is just like the most common things that people bring there to sell so next up is a white Wilfred oh it's so beautiful um, jumpsuit so it ties up in the back open back style cream colored wide leg the only thing that ticks me off a little is that it was dragging on the floor so I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a soak on the bottom of the pant legs and see if I can get that dirt out I'm hoping it's so annoying when stores allow such beautiful pieces to drag on the floor uh, I also found a pair of Babaton with the tag classic trousers. These are probably $150 trouser pants. They are a double zero, but I don't care. I got to stock up for fall and winter and trouser pants just sell really well. And then I also scored these Babaton uh, Molina pants in a size 10. I think I'm gonna try them on for myself and see if they fit. Oh, my butt needs to shrink a little. <laughs> but I love them, they're so nice, they're in good condition. And they were $16, I was shocked. They always have these marked at like 45, 50. I can't find any flaws. I like seriously have no idea why they were so cheap, but I'm not complaining. I scooped them up, threw them in my cart, and we'll see, I might keep those for myself. So. That was a pretty good haul and in total I think I spent like $130 which isn't bad for the items I got. There is like, I don't know, $400 probably in sales. Like these Molina pants, I'm going to hope for like $75.80. Those trouser pants, same thing in fall, $75.80. They're new with tags. I might even be able to get more for them. This jumpsuit, probably another $100. 80 to 100 I'm gonna list this one high it just has a really nice feel to it so yeah I like some really good pieces that um, jumpsuit that Wilford one this is like $80 just good stuff good stuff okay I'm gonna head for my hair appointment and then we're gonna continue on and then at the end of the video I'm gonna give you your two options and I'm kind of well yeah I, I have an idea of already one item that I'm going to put into it and we'll see what else we can find to add to the contest. So if you are just watching this video and you haven't already voted to win the grand prize of the box with the five items for, for the giveaway, you have to vote on every video. So if you didn't vote on last video, go back, watch last, last video and make sure you vote. I'll also pop a link up here to take you guys there. Okay, I'll be back with some fresh hair. Okay, done fresh hair um to my hairstyle friends thrifty friends anyone have any tips i have like a clump of gray hairs there at the top and of course she has to like you know get the dye good there but i always end up with staining and part of it is my hair's my scalp is like super dry my hair is super fine and thin so it like most people i think the hairline hides it where mine doesn't but anyways I'm looking for tips to help with that <laughs> okay I'm gonna head to the car and we'll go do some more shopping before I head in I kind of was like simmering on this uh, while I was driving here and this is more of like a little personal rant um, this is what it looks like can you guys see that line on my head and then I have some oh, where is it I have some on this side like you can kind of see it right here right so here's my thing 
it cost me $200 before tip for my cut and root touch up not not full head dye not foils not like nothing which I'm okay with but I want to leave the hair salon feeling like a million bucks I want to leave there being like stepping out and being proud and happy and I don't like I leave the hair salon the last few times and I don't want to be seen in public because I have this and I, I just don't think it's normal like I don't know if you have any experience with hair dye and all that stuff and you have any advice please let me know because I will be sitting with this for like two days it's the worst it's the worst <laughs> I hate it look at that it's so obvious oh man just feeling annoyed but okay I don't want to ruin this video <laughs> I'm just like having a moment while I'm driving and feeling like that was a lot of money to be embarrassed to get out of my car and go into a store anyways other than that I like the color I like the cut I just am over this staining that I'm getting around my head when I walk out of the hair salon okay and rant I'm going in uh, it's quite busy here I don't know if they're putting out new stuff all day but I'm hoping to find some stuff so we've done two stops so far it's been a pretty good day like not gonna lie I'm, I'm happy with what I have so far but I'm hoping to find five quality pieces so that's my goal going in here let's see if we can find five quality pieces <laughs> How cute is this? It's not good quality, but it's still super cute. Alright, today is a day of leaving things behind, it truly is. First up is a Lululemon jacket, they're asking $40. This is older than 2017. It also has like staining on it. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. Who the, who's going to pay $40 for that? I'm also going to leave this Mountain Equipment Co-op jacket, which breaks my heart. I don't know, $10, it's older, small gonna leave those and then I also found these which I thought were a score because they were only asking 15 but upon closer inspection they have been repaired so for that reason I'm gonna leave those let's get out of here and I'm gonna show you what I found I found some good pieces okay we're gonna do this quick because it's so stinking hot first off Natasha if you're watching thank you so much for passing on that Lulu top uh, she didn't have a coupon. We ran in into each other at the till and she was like, I don't have a coupon. You might as well buy this because I won't. And I agree. If I wouldn't have had a coupon, I don't think I would have grabbed it either. Uh, but I got three good pieces. Like, I'm impressed. Uh, first is an Arcteryx pair of shorts, size four, good condition. This is the older tag. So I've been showing you guys a lot of the newer tag. Most of the items I've been finding are the newer tag. This is not, but because they're plain, they're black, they're in great condition. And there's the embroidered Arcteryx sign you wanna look for. Uh, I think those will do good. I just sold a pair for like $49. Uh, retail, they're over a hundred bucks uh, here in Canada. Next up is a size eight hooded lululemon top this is the one that natasha gave me oh my gosh it is like crispy tag brand new i just can't believe that people donate this stuff and yeah size eight so fairly new oh and here she is she's parked right in front of me and then the last item the uh actually one of the cooler finds it was priced really well so this was priced at $13. I saved money on it because I have my coupon, but it's an older style black Lululemon jacket. The reason why I picked this up, number one, it was 
Number two, it's black. Number three, I feel like these jackets are kind of timeless pieces. They still tend to sell really well, not for like a hundred dollars, but I think I'll probably be able to get like 45 bucks for this, which I'm okay with it. $10 in, $45 sale. Uh, yeah, so kind of excited. That wasn't bad. Three good pieces. Uh, okay, we're gonna make one more stop. Oh, I gotta pick up Emma Cup, but I really wanna hit up that uh, honey hole and see what they have new put out. So uh, let's go there. And then I'm gonna see if I can pick up Emika a little bit later. I'm gonna text her right now because I really wanna swing into that store and I don't think she's gonna come with me. So, okay. And, and I need to decide what we're doing in the giveaway today. I'm feeling really good, like really excited right now. I got some really good pieces today. I, yeah, it's gonna be tough to decide which two I'm gonna put into the giveaway, but you guys, I like don't even care on the price that I'm paying. Generally, my cost of goods is like between 10. Some of the pieces I did pay 25, 30 for, but they're more substantial pieces. But generally my cost of goods is like 10 to 20 bucks. So yeah, I think this box is gonna have some really good items in it. Okay. We're gonna do one more haul. Uh, I probably won't take you guys in the store, but I wanna see what we can find. And yeah, I gotta figure out Emika's situation right now. Oh, also something I had to tell you guys that I forgot about. Um, if you are a, I gotta turn that off, it gets too loud. If you are a Posh Sidekick user, you need to go into the Facebook page. They have a big announcement coming out tomorrow and it's gonna be on YouTube. Uh, I think it's like a private link. Uh, I don't know the details about it, but anyways, it's in the Facebook group. And um, if you attend there, you will get onto the wait list to have first access at this new feature. I promise you guys, this new feature is gonna be a game changer. I'm personally excited for it. And I just, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, Sidekick is like rev revolutionizing, revolution revolutionizing I don't even know how to say that word why do I always try and say words that are beyond my vocabulary and pronunciation especially on video oh gosh okay anyways they are changing the game and uh, yeah I'm just excited to be a part of, of of their circle I don't even know how to describe it but I'm just I'm just so grateful to be a part with them and to work with them but I think you guys are gonna want to know so as soon as they announce it you know I'm gonna tell you guys you know I'm gonna explain everything how to use it stuff like that but this is gonna be big news so if you're a user hop into their Facebook page so that you can get into the live tomorrow okay we're gonna do one more stop and then we're gonna decide which items to put into our giveaway box why hello Karen you're in my seat I need to sit there. <laughs> Callie's about to come up. She's like, what's going on in here? Is there a meeting that I'm not invited to? <laughs> hey, Cal. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Super close up. There she goes. <laughs> Okay, that was super anticlimactic. Um, I was kind of in a rush. I did stop at that honey hole, but I had like maybe 25 minutes in there. I did find a couple pieces, looked up comps, profit margins were pretty small. So I'm gonna have to hang tight, I think for another week for her to put out more stuff. So that's fine, I'm okay with that. Um, I did have a couple more pieces that I had found last week and uh, I just didn't record a video on it. So when we were driving through to head out to the mountains last weekend, we stopped at the Medicine Hat Value Village and Jeff had to go to PV Mart <laughs> and I don't know. Anyways, he had to go there and he was like, you have 25 minutes. Why don't I drop you off at Value Village and I'll go do what I got to do. I'm like, okay. So I found this uh, green. It's like a forest green men's Lululemon quarter zip. Um, I don't know the age of this one. I'll have to look it up, but really good pricing. I actually found like five or six items that I think I would have bought if I would have had a coupon. They were just like on the cusp of what I normally would spend sourcing. So 
I didn't pick them up, but they were good pieces. <laughs> so I'm kind of sad that I didn't have a coupon with me. I need to build up my coupons in my fanny pack. That's for sure. I used to have tons and now I'm like day by day when I go there. Uh, and I don't like living like that. Uh, the other two things I grabbed, I think they were like last week sometime. Maybe I stopped after work. I can't even remember now. But they're a pair of 501 S uh, light wash Levi's jeans. Uh, I always like being able to score these at Value Village because it's a good price. And this other one, this is a brand I really like to find. Kerrigdon. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to show you guys the label. So this is merino wool, 100% merino wool, and it's made in Ireland. And it's a beautiful knit cardigan sweater. I love the detail in it. This is a fantastic fall piece. I'm going to list it anyways. It definitely has like a bit of a Celtic um, pattern to it. But yeah, I love these pieces. These sweaters I can usually sell for over $75, sometimes upwards of $100. But with the resale market being kind of all over the place right now, I'm not sure what this is going to sell for. I am going to list high, accept reasonable offers. It's in a size medium, which is a nice size, no shrinkage, like perfect condition. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I know, actually, I don't know. I'm confident that I will not let this go for less than $50, but we'll see what it actually sells for and that is it those are those are the items okay let's get to the voting part so out of the whole haul I have picked two items they're both very good items and I'm excited for you guys to pick one of them to add into the box the two items that you guys are voting on today to get added to this box are the Arcteryx size 4 hiking shorts which are awesome. Oh my gosh, I love these. Or the Lululemon jacket. And I think because like my cost of goods is so good on this, uh, I think it'd be a good item to throw into here. When I can find like the perfect item with the perfect cost of goods, that's how I'm kind of choosing. And I want to pick items that I feel like maybe you don't necessarily have access to, but also have good values. So probably the shorts and this jacket Canadian wise, you should be able to sell these for over $40. So I think that's a, that's a pretty good win. Um, but yeah, so you got Lululemon jacket or Arcteryx shorts. And I'm excited to see what you guys vote for. If you're just watching this video, I still encourage you to go and vote. If you hadn't, it's just your vote may not count to the decision. But in order to win the grand prize, which is going to be five items for resale, that um, I choose through these thrift haul videos, uh, you have to vote on every video and I can look up your username and see which videos you commented on. So that's how I'm going to uh, filter through that you met the requirements. So yeah, those are the rules. Those That's the only rule. You have to vote on every video. Okay, I'm feeling really good today. This was a good haul day. Not crazy, but I would say a good 15 items. I definitely was shooting for closer to 20 to 25 items today, but it is what it is. Some days you just don't find as much. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm feeling good. So I got to get those shoe pile. I, I think I'm about halfway. Mm, no, I'm not halfway. I'm probably like one third way <laughs> through, but I'm going to mad photograph those uh, shoes and finish that up so that I can start working on some of my other items as well. But uh, yeah, that's it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And uh, as always, drop in the comments, share your thoughts. If you want to shout out a cool thing you thrifted, please feel free to do so. I love reading all your comments. I love hanging out with you guys in the comments. It's like my favorite place to be after a video is uploaded. Uh, okay, 
I'm going to let you guys go. I hope this helps you in your reselling business. I hope if at least I have kept you company and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because they help me in the algorithm. They help my channel. It is absolutely free to do, but it really means the most to content creators. I am wishing you guys all many sales, lots of sales, and I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye. Thank you.